a kid grew here with another XP tutorial today. This one's pretty much a tweak. Cool little tweak I found out how to do. Uh, I'll surf in the web and I found this tweak out and I thought I should share it with everybody here. So, you know your system properties menu displays your, uh, you know, uh, your system, your, you know, what version you're on, registered, you know, name and everything like that. But down below, by the manufacturer and supported by picture, you probably have whatever your, uh, logo is put inputted by your, uh, whatever uh, computer you have. For my example would be Compaq. But for this little tweak I found a little, so a little something something uh, cooler which would be right here. As you see there I can I edited the picture uh, uh, and um, it also shows that uh, I can tweak the the uh, support information. It says Tech World Showcase and it still has my specs there but I, I can change the logo and right there I also if you go to support information it shows all the Things are here, Tech World XP, all my links and stuff like that that I put in. I'm going to show you how to all do that today. Simple tweak, no programs needed. Uh, and it's all going to be done through uh, within XP. And then, uh, so it's pretty simple. First off, you're going to want to get your uh, BMP file, which would be your picture, the logo you want to replace it with. Now, try and make it within, I believe it said 120 between 180, I believe it is, because you need it, you need a small. Uh, picture because you you don't want it to you know blow up or get squished uh, in the window because the window can only hold uh, a certain uh, I, how would I say this a certain size of picture so basically you're gonna get that BMP and you're gonna go into your Windows directory at my computers local C disk Windows and you're gonna take that BMP it has to be a BMP and store it in the System32 file so local C disk Windows System32 drag the BMP file all the way to the bottom which would be right here and name it and then rename it OEM logo dot BMP OEM logo dot BMP and then now if you wanna make a text for the support information go to make OEM dot info dot INI and how you do this is go to file new text and then save it text open the text and copy this text right here I'll leave these leave these lift <laughs> Leave this in the video description for you guys to co uh, copy. All you want to do is you can edit this, you can edit all of this. Now for the line part, you want to make sure you stay within the quotations. You have to have the quotations around your text or else it won't show. So you can even add more lines if you want. You can add more stuff. You can add more in the lines if you want. I didn't fill in all my lines. I just did some examples right there. So make sure it stays within text. I just added all my links. So you just make a text file and then save it as a .ini, which would be a right here dot ini file and then it's going to tell you that it may not be usable just hit yes and then you have your and name it oem info dot ini and you have your oem logo dot bmp and that's it and then you just go to your system properties guys and that's it'll be there you can change it to whatever you want i just did an example there so anyways guys i hope you enjoy this quick tweak uh... quick tutorial on xp as far as i'm, I'm still going to look into if you can do it on vista i'm pretty sure so if anybody wants to check, double check that for me please do i'm going to try it out right now so anyways guys thanks for watching and i hope you uh, enjoyed it so make sure you go to your uh... Or again if you go you go to your local c disk windows system thirty two and store your uh... bmp file and your dot ini file in there anyways guys uh... that's how you get rid of the logo within your uh... your manufacturer's logo anyways guys thanks for watching